we're in March, I think it's March 4th, and we're expecting sleet tomorrow, and a lot of our trees are in full bloom, full bloom, and the freeze may just take out all the flowers. So these four trees, we may get, they get no fruit this year. And if that happens, that's what happens. That's part of nature. The rest of them aren't that far. Oh, this one's starting now, too. So, five trees. Boy, this one's going strong. It come out just yesterday. Had to be last night. Green and everything on it. This is our Harduck Peach. That one's uh, almonds. Those two are almonds. That one's our Nectar Plum. And this one's, uh, I forget the variety, but this one's a straight plum. This one, the buds are just, the others, the buds are swelling, but not full blown. But look at this one. It's just popped out yesterday during late afternoon. But then by this morning, come out and it's really gone wild. This one's been coming out for quite a while. But we're probably not going to get any fruit on these trees this year. But that's how nature works. You never know. Here, as you can see, we have trimmings from a palm tree, a fan palm and another kind of palm tree. All of that is going to become mulch for the food forest, for the compost, for everything we need for our plants. So we were really, really happy to get this. That's why it was different this time. area right here. Ah, you probably this spray one more out. of it around it there. Uh -huh. Plant potatoes there. Over there. Which is now a road, but it's not going to be a road, right? No, hey, you did That's the the get a lot of stuff up. And see why you this road. The happy pigs. Yeah. Oh. Well, not quite as bad as it was. Great. Look at that over here. I didn't do anything there. Oh, well, it looks good. Up there. See, it's a flat area, and I put a mound there. That's where we'll put the other one. Uh huh. So this area will be. Um... I still got to rake this out. Yeah, so this will be. Let's see, I raked that flat up there. Yeah. I'd rather put another batch of potatoes. Okay. Yeah. See, I took a lot out of here. Yeah, I got a couple of sprouting egg-sized potatoes, so we'll just be planting the full potato. And Rob, step in. What you feeding the chickens again? Give them a little, little scratch. Then they go out on and scratch up the dirt. Come on. Well, they're all happy to go. Work the land. Yeah. That bit of land inside their run. So while it would be great to be able to let ours run free and free range, there's just too many, too many predators out here. Well, we have all the, the hawks and owls, and the owls wouldn't bother during the day. Yeah. But the hawks sure would, and uh, coyotes. Coyotes aren't out much during the day. Yeah. 
mostly we only hear them at night. Yeah. But we've seen a few That's of them. They, yeah, but they're just walking around then. When they're about at night. Well, this has worked for us for a few years now. And I widen this a little bit. Oh, yeah, this is nice. I can get all the way through. Papa didn't bring you food. I did. You did? Yeah, I usually feed them right here. Ah. Now they know where they're supposed to go. Oh, babies. You I knew. You knew where to go, huh? And they're eating. They're happy. Better eat, little guy. He eats. So you gave up trying to keep it in their bowl. Why don't they put wet stuff in their bowl? Yeah. We're able to use this tractor, which will come in very handy. All that green can go to the chickens and turkeys, see if they like it. But I was thinking that uh, spread that Rob just moved, we could use that as some like ground cover. And we do have quite a bit of uh, cardboard boxes that we can also lay down for our bedding. We've been saving it, and I'll be so glad to get rid of it all. This was the box that. That would. Did you find bugs? Did you find bugs? Yeah. What kind? The water oh, yeah. We're getting a little bit of fertility. That's been laying there for uh, probably a year now. So there is hope that we will get some decent ground eventually.